Hey, thanks for tuning in to what's happening in and around Grace Church. I hope you had a great 4th of July, whether that was getting together with your family or having some time to get out in the sun and just enjoy vitamin D here in the UP, or maybe you had some meaningful time where you could just decompress and unwind a little bit. Whatever the case, my hope and my prayer for you is that this week or even this weekend, that you would have some extra set aside prayer time. Prayer is one of the greatest things that we can do in this life, to have nowhere else to go, nothing else to do, but to be present with God. And I wanna encourage you in that today. First Thessalonians 5, starting in verse 16, says this, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Do not quench the spirit, do not despise prophecies, but test everything, hold fast to what is good, abstain from every form of evil. I wanna encourage you today to sit down and to take some time to just recall ways that you've seen the Lord at work in your life and just praise him for it. Just take time to say, thank you, Lord, for these blessings. Thank you, Lord, for the ways that you have provided for me, for my family, for my loved ones. Thank you for the ways that you go before me, that you protect me, that you keep me in your righteous right hand. And maybe you want to go beyond that. Maybe you want to spend even more time in prayer. This idea of praying without ceasing. It's the idea that, yeah, we want to have set aside downtime where we are with the Lord and we're spending time with him. But prayer without ceasing is to pray wherever we go. It's to bring the Lord with us in every area of our life. That he's not just for in our private time, but he's also for in our public social relational times, our work times, our play times, wherever we might be, we are to bring the Lord with us. And so I want to just encourage you to make a habit today of stopping and praying and inviting the Lord into whatever it is that you're doing. Maybe you're out for dinner. Maybe you're out with friends. Maybe you're out on the water. Whatever the case may be, would you just stop and make sure that you're continuing to involve the Lord in everything that you do. The next part of that is that this is the will of God, that this is for you, that this isn't for just any random person. It's not something you should do. It's not something you could do. This is what God has for you, that you would be in constant connection with him, constant relation with him. And so I want to encourage you to move towards him. Don't quench the spirit. Don't give in to the temptations around you. Don't ignore the Lord or live your life apart from him. Bring him with you into all that you are doing. And I want to encourage you to have a set aside alone time with us as the body where we're going to come before the Lord as one. We're going to meet here on July 14th. It's the night before VBS. And we're going to have a prayer and worship night. And we're going to specifically be in prayer that God would anoint Vacation Bible School this year. That he would use it for the movement of his gospel among young people across Delta County. And we want to encourage you to come and to join us for that powerful time of prayer where we are going to specifically ask God to reach these kids, to save them from their sin, and to invite them into eternity with him forever. And so my encouragement to you is, would you fight the spiritual fight with us? Would you begin now by praying that God would use this event that he would use this time where we have kids coming in from all over the place, some of which who don't know the Lord, who are not walking with him, who do not have a family background of attending church. Would you pray now and would you commit to being there on July 14th when we commit that week to the Lord? Let me pray for us as we go. Lord, wherever we go from here, we know that we are your children and we know that we can bring you with us. And so, Lord, we pray that you would go before us, that you would lead us, that you would guide us, that you would draw us before your presence, and that you would help us to live in your presence wherever we go. Lord, we commit VBS to you. We commit July 14th to you, and we pray that it would be a powerful night that leads into a powerful week where your gospel message reaches the hearts of many. Lord, we commit our church, ourselves, our community to you. 
in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Thanks for watching, and we can't wait to worship with you on Sunday.